Hey guys, welcome back to Code4. Today we'll be doing database and query from IGCC Computer Science Practicals. So this video is based on the IGCC Computer Science syllabus. So after you finish watching this video, you should be able to define a single table database from given data storage requirements, choose and specify suitable data types, choose a specific primary key for a database table, and perform a query by example from given search criteria. So let's get started. If you're new to Code 4, this channel is all about educative stuff. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon for instant notifications and make sure you share our channel with everyone since IGCC exams are near. So first, what is database? So database is basically a collection of data that is stored in a logical or ordered manner. So a database has a structure which allows data to be held within it in a logical and orderly manner and it is stored in tables made of records and fields so basically records are rows and fields are columns so next we have data types so there are five main data types which are text number currency date and boolean so text is for any type of text that you have to input into the table number is for any type of number that you have to input Currency is when you're using rupees or euros or dollars for the rate or price of an item. So date is, for example, expiration date or any other dates that could be needed to be input into the table. And Boolean is for yes or no. Next, primary key. So what is a primary key? So basically, primary key is a field that uniquely identifies each record by using alphanumeric data that never repeats. So for example, in this table here, the primary key is BEV number, the first field, because this has data that never repeats. Alphanumeric data is data that has both text and numbers. So here, each, like each input or each value is different and does not repeat at all which makes it the primary key so next is query by example so in this they'll give you a query a table and you have to fill in data so that it will show the particular things that are shown asked in the question so the first row will ask for the field so in field you have to write the field name or the title of that column like price or size or color etc next row will be for writing the table it will be written table on the side so table is the name of that particular table that is already written in the question so you can't get confused here just look at the question and write whatever you see next it will be written sort here if you need it to be in a particular order of a to z or of z to a if you want it to be in alphabetical order starting from a to z you have to write ascending Otherwise, if you want it to be from Z to A, you have to write descending. Next row will say show and it will have a small box. So if you want that particular column or field to be visible, you need to place a tick mark in that box. Next, we have criteria. So criteria is the last row. After criteria, there is R. So we can write criteria for two columns. So it should be either this or that. Okay. So for criteria, if you're going to write criteria for a text field or a field of the data type text, then these are some possible things you could be asked to do. Pause the video to check out what you have to do here. Next, these are the possible things you could be asked to do if with a field that has a data type of number. This can also be applicable for currency. Next, these are what you could be asked to do with date, with the data type of date. So again, you can pause the video and check this out. So that is it for query, um, query by example. 
So as you solve more and more problems, you will get very thorough in this topic. It's a very easy place to score marks. So good luck. Thank you for watching. And credits go to slides go. Icons and images are from Flatty Corner and Freebig. Thank you so much. Thank you.